So this is your tutorial on how to do everything you need to do for lesson four. We are kind of starting to get into the lab now, um, although all the questions you have to answer do not require you to go into the lab at all. In fact, all of them are over here on the right in introduction. You'll scroll through here, read all of this. Uh, also, you need to watch some of these videos. And once you've done those very simple questions, you can finally have the uh, joy of entering the lab. So you'll just click on that. Um, please note also that this lab uses cookies. That means that if you continue to use the same computer, you will automatically have your progress saved. So just try to stay on the same device if possible. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna start over so that you can see what I'm doing. Okie dokie, so the first thing we're gonna do is tutorial one. So um, let's go ahead and kind of start so I can tell you what exactly it is you're looking at here. So I'm gonna start over here with this little diagram of the fish so that you know what exactly what we're looking at. Um, what you're looking at is the pelvis of the fish. So your pelvis is basically your hip bones and then these little, uh, they call it pelvic spines coming off, uh, those are vestigial legs. So what that means is in the very ancient past, perhaps these little spines were legs that the fish used for walking, but uh, time has gone by and those legs have changed into a totally new purpose, which is now they're used as spines that can protect them against predators. Um, the unique part of the stickleback fish and what we'll be looking at in this lab is whether or not they still have their spines based on if they're in a lake with predators where they would need protection or if they're in a lake where they have no predators and they do not need protection. So let's take a quick look at what each of those look like. Um, remember, I'm still just over here on the right side of my screen. I'm just zoomed in. So the first thing you can see here is a complete pelvis. So this means he has both of his spines fully intact. The right side here, I really prefer the like under view, this one. Um, and you can see the little, they almost do look like legs sticking out. That is a complete pelvis. All right, let's go now down to the reduced. Reduced means it's slightly there, but it's not as visible as complete. So again, I'm looking at the under view. These two little red dots here are kind of slight evidence of a pelvis, but it is starting to disappear, especially when you compare it to the complete one above. Alrighty. And then the easiest one to recognize is the absent pelvis. Um, no pelvic girdle, no spines here. This one's really simple when you look at it from underneath. There's absolutely nothing there. Um, you need to refer to these pictures. Otherwise, you're going to struggle with the tutorial. So we can keep this all open together here and we'll go over and begin the tutorial. So I'm clicking on the first fish. Here we go. Um, I highly recommend you click this word up here in the right that says ventral view uh, right there then you can see them from underneath. You can also magnify this guy, oops. Oh man, trying this again, ventral view, and you can magnify him somehow, there we go. Okay, see those little things sticking out from underneath his belly? That is his pelvis. He is a complete pelvis. I can compare that over here to the complete pelvis. He is definitely complete, next. I'm staying in the underneath view. If you like lateral view, go for it, but ventral view is way better for me. Um, this one's gonna be reduced. See these two red dots here? They're there, but they do not actually protrude from the skin. This is reduced. Boom. Next guy, alrighty, let's look at him. He's also reduced. As you can see, the red dots are a little bit there, but um, they are kind of fading out, so he's reduced. Ah, uh, yes, the easiest one. Nothing here. Absent. Not even a nub, it said. All right, so that's what you'll do. You have to get um, your full 
20, I think it is correct, in order to move on. Um, then you can go and try, if you like, to look at the fossil fishes. These ones are much more difficult uh, because you're looking at a fossil which is most likely damaged, but you have the same images over here on the right which you use to determine if he is complete or reduced or absent. Um, I'll just show a couple again. All right, so I'm seeing these little dark things here poking off at the bottom. I'm gonna call this guy complete. I, it's much more difficult now. Uh, gosh. Again, oops, I'm looking at these things. I'm gonna call this one complete as well. This one's really tough. Uh, I don't know, my magnify doesn't work very good. There's something there. Um, I'm stuck between complete and reduced. I might go, I'm gonna go complete. Oh, yes. Okay, this one's definitely absent. I can tell already. Uh, there's nothing here. Right at the edge of his ribs, I see nothing. I think it's absent. Yes. Oh boy. I might shoot for reduced on this one. There it is, that little nub right at the bottom kind of looks like a leg. Um, I'm gonna shoot for reduced, just try it. Nope, I was wrong, should have been absent. Anyways, you get the idea. Um, make sure you answer the questions from the introduction here first, then begin the intro, the, and then we will go to experiment one, experiment two, and experiment three over the next couple days. Um, hey, uh, checking in again, uh, just saying hi. It's Saturday here in London. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I'll do a clip of the outside in a second. Uh, I think it's only like seven degrees though, still quite cold here. Um, I'm thinking all of my throw up problems are now over and I'm gonna try to go for a run today. Uh, updates as far as attendance. We are going to hopefully start doing a little bit more video calling with the people who we haven't heard from as much. Um, if you're already talking to me and already calling me, then you're okay. But if I haven't heard much from you, I'm probably gonna be trying to schedule at like a very informal conversation with you. Um, it's gonna be sometime between the hours of 10 and 12 and one and three. Those are our general online times where you know I'll be there talking to you. Um, no big deal. I just need to say hi and make sure you're alive and you've got the work going and you, you have everything you need. So as usual, continue to please message me if you have anything, I'm here for you. Kiss you guys. Lovely day. A little bit chilly, but sunny nonetheless. 